This conference will now be recorded. Okay, thank you, Sushi. Thank you, Nobel. Thank you, Media, too. So we'll get started now. We'll get started. So in the last class, we have discussed about the correlation, guys. So we have been working on the correlation part and trying to understand, okay? So different parts of the correlation, okay? So <clears throat> we'll, we'll do the correlation using regular expression extractor, okay? So what do we do using regular expression extractor, which is the post processor, okay? So we'll do, we'll do correlation using regular expression extractor, so is this regular expression extractor is it a processor or is it a preprocessor okay so post processor means option one preprocessor is option two which one is it is it a post processor or a preprocessor option one post processor option two preprocessor so what is, it, what is it guys post processor or a preprocessor okay it is a post processor which means that what does it mean after the request is processed Okay, request is processed. So after the request is processed, obviously you will get a response. On the response, on the response, it will do the extraction. Okay, this component, okay, this component or element, whatever you would like to call it, okay, will do the extracting part. Okay, will do the extracting part. What does the post processor means? Once the request is processed, okay, obviously you will get the response. And on that response, on the response, this component or the element, which is the regular expression extractor, will do the extracting part. Okay, pre-processor means before the request is processed, before the request is processed, okay, so this element will be executed, okay, this element will be executed, okay. So, wonderful guys, this element will be executed okay so yesterday we have seen some pre-processors anybody could remember any one of them any one of the pre-processor that we have looked at so guys any one of them because it's an interview question they will ask you did you use a post-processor you can your answer has to be yes and which is the regular expression extractor and the next question is did you use the pre-processor okay if so what are them so Anything that you could remember from yesterday, guys? Any pre-processor? Okay. One is the user parameters that we have tried to use yesterday. Okay. So let's say we have tried to use that on uh, one of these elements. One is the sample timeout. Okay. And one is the okay user parameters and one is the sample timeout that we have played around yesterday and. What I would like to you to explore is HTTP URL rewriting modifier. Okay, URL rewriting modifier and HTML link parser. Okay, so <clears throat> after the class, if you stay back, uh, I'll I'll try to explain what I have explored about this HTTP URL rewriting modifier so that you would be able to talk about it in the interviews or. If you would have explored yourself or you wanted to explore yourself, you can do it. But whatever I've explored, okay, if you wanted me to share it with you, I can do it after the class is done. Okay, and I want you to explore this too. In the class, I've explored user parameters and sample time. Okay, and I've seen you how it works as well. Okay, so you can do this too. The, these two things, HTML link parser and HTTP URL rewrite modifier. Okay, these are the two things that you can play around. So, so uh, okay, now that we have looked at it and yesterday we, we tried to understand what is this dollar one dollar, okay? The one represents what is in this dollar one dollar, what is that one represents? Any idea, anything that you could remember? My speakers are up, you can mm. unmute yourself and speak. Index value. Index value or the group, group. can I say the grouping? Yeah. So the group number, you can have one, two, three, four, any number, but you have to have those many groups in your regular expression. 
okay those many groups in your regular expression so let's assume that this is your regular expression okay this is your regular expression okay so by default you have only one group here because it has an opening braces and closing braces but you can have as many groups as possible okay you can have as many groups as possible usually grouping is done only for for something which is uh, which is you know which has some meta characters by the way these are meta characters dot star question mark these have some special meanings these are called what these are called what meta characters okay so grouping is done not for a simple characters not for some simple characters like login or method or double quotes or something like that grouping is usually done for something which has a special meaning here dot star means it can represent any any characters as of any length okay so grouping is usually done for meta characters but again it's up to you how you wanted to do it so if you have multiple groups you have to tell which group you wanted to use however i don't have any other uh, special characters or meta characters in this regular expression that's why i have tried to group some normal characters <coughs> but in the real world usually a grouping is done for some meta characters okay so dollar one dollar represents that dot star question mark as i've told you dot is a meta character star is a meta character and question mark is a meta character dot dot represents any character could it be uh, it could be uh, uh, letters it could be special characters it could be digits it could be numbers it could be anything it represents that and star means this could repeat any number of times instead of star can i use something else guys instead of star can i do some can i use something else plus okay wonderful okay dot plus also works there is a subtle difference between star and plus star means even zero matches which means that even though nothing is there still matches plus means at least there should be one character whether that could be a letter or a digit or special characters at least there should be one okay so star means if that is not there also it works okay plus means one or more star means zero or more that's what it means okay star means zero or more okay zero or more uh, plus means one or more so this is one or more okay uh, <clears throat> and this is zero or more wonderful guys okay wonderful okay but you can usually expect something to be there so definitely that's why plus also works but you never know i mean star is what regularly used you go ahead and use the star case okay <coughs> so i already explained what is a post processor and why we are building the regular expression a default value is if it's not picking any value whatever you give as a default value it will print out that value usually not fold is used yesterday i have explained how this works okay today we will discuss about one more thing which is the matching number okay Okay. Quickly, let me do the uh, correlation uh, for these values. I'm using a completely different script here, guys. This is done on demo kettle. Whatever the correlation that I have done was on CF apps. Okay. Whatever the correlation that I have done was on CF apps. Hang on, guys. Let me let me put my mic at an appropriate place so that you know the, the sound will be clear. Wonderful. Okay. I hope the the voice is better now. What? Well, okay. So the recording that I was, I mean, even though it's a JPEG store, it was done from CF apps, and there was only one uh, one correlation I had to do. But you see here, guys, there are two correlations. Same login, but they have something called source page and something called FP. So and looking at it right away, you know, you know, you can make sense out of this. So this needs to be correlated, and this needs to be correlated. Okay. If if you are not smart enough to understand that these values are, uh, I don't know whether these values needs to be correlated or not. So what would you do, guys? What would you do? What is the process? If you don't know that, you know which values to correlate here. What is that you would do to correlate? Wonderful, Abdisa. You would have to record it twice and then compare both the recordings. And obviously, the values which changes from first. To, uh, first script to second script are the ones which you have correlate or simply you can use this tool called j correlate okay simply we can use this uh, script uh, tool called j correlate but as abdul said 
Okay, he has some issues in his company. JCorrelate is a third-party website, and we have to upload the scripts into JCorrelate. And some of your clients might not like your scripts to be uploaded into a third-party website. Okay, so that is when you might not use it, might not want it to use it. Otherwise, this this tool is working like a cake. Okay, it is working like a cake. So maybe uh, you can. Okay, if you wanted to check whether you are doing the correlation correct or not initially, you can use your tool. And also, you can do your manual correlation and compare whether you have done it or not uh, correctly or not. But <coughs> this is working fine. So let me correlate quickly these values, guys. Okay. Uh, I'm using a completely different script, but this is also a good example. Lot of people might be under the impression that one script, one request, only one correlation. But you see, it's only one request, one HTTP request, and two values are there to be correlated. This one source page and F. Okay, so what is that? The first thing that I'll do, I'll have to go to the recording log. But unfortunately, there is no recording log here. Not an issue. Sometimes, if the recording log is not there, we can go to the replay log as well. Okay, replay log is not there as well. So let me execute once so that I'll have the replay log. Okay, so go and search in the replay log. Obviously, it will not be there. Okay, in the replay log, it will not be there. So smartly, what I'm doing, uh, search. Ideally, you have to go to the recording log. Which will be there? I mean, it will be there under the HTTPS tip recorder of the view results tree. That's how you would do it. Okay, as I've told you. But here, you know, that recording log is not there, so I don't want it to record again. So see what I'm doing. Okay, sometimes whatever I'm doing right now, it will work. Not all the time. So look at the name. Okay, look at the name, and then go ahead and then search in the. Replay log. This is the replay log. Okay, when you replay, whatever the log, it will be there. It will be there in the view results tree of the of the thread group. Recording log will be there under HTTP script recorder. Okay, it's there in each of those samplers. So let me go and search in this particular sampler where it is. Okay, so looks like it is there here. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll go ahead and use this. Okay, and watch here carefully. Watch here carefully. Okay, there is there is one step that I forgot in the last class to explain. Watch this step. Okay, there is something called regular expression tester. Okay, earlier I have done the complete regular expression in the Notepad plus plus itself, but typically what we have to do, we have to use something called regular expression tester. Okay, first let me build the regular expression here. Okay, so you see hidden value source page value is equal to. This seems to be the dynamic value until double zero. Okay, so you have a double quotes here, double quotes here. So delete that and then put your regular expression, which is dot star question mark. Okay, and then test it. Okay, and then test it. Where do you test it? Okay, in the launch only. In the launch only, the response only. You have something called. You have searched it in the response, right? You search for that source page or whatever it is in the response. Okay, you search for this in the response. Okay, now you go to the regular expression tester and whatever the regular expression that you have built, copy it into the regular expression tester and test it. Usually, it should give you some matching. Okay, if you give matching here, match count should be something. If the match count is zero, obviously you haven't done it correctly. Okay, let me see where I have gone wrong. Okay, let me do a control Z. Okay, so. What is that I have done wrong? Everything seems to be right. Okay, so dot star question mark. Okay, maybe this extra space is causing a problem. Let me check, guys. Maybe that extra space could be the problem. I don't know. Okay, so let me see that. Hang on, one second. Usually, the regular expression tester should work. Okay, uh, guys, did you see any blatant issue that I have done? Anything that you think that I have missed here, or maybe I should have? Maybe if I delete that. Okay, so this is coming now. Okay, all the way till here, value is equal to it is working. Dot star question mark is there. So let me try till here and it see it's working. Okay. It is still working. Can I do a clear here? No. Oh, the complete thing is gone. Hang on, guys. One second.
it's supposed to work okay then okay let me try all the way till here and see if, if i messed up something over there just give me one moment guys yeah from here there seems to be some issue okay till here it is working now it is able to add okay but why if i add that extra spaces after that it's not working okay you see i'm able to capture this value now okay so <clears throat> why is it not working if it was the entire thing hang on guys so let me see what was i mean you can also see if there is any issue you can tell me as well okay so you go to the response data okay and then find it Let's go to the next line and maybe when the when it goes to the next line it is not working maybe okay so we might have to add that next line or something like that okay so let me see that okay this is going to the next line right so the next line we have to add that next line portion maybe so let me try that adding the next line okay so hang on guys so let me first build uh, build the regular expression as it is okay so dot star question mark okay and if you test it oh it's working now oh i didn't do anything it's working now okay wonderful so you see usually you can test if your regular expression that whatever your build is correct or not you can test it yourself how do you test it just use the regular expression tester under the same response where you found that where you found that value okay go to the wherever you found that value in the response data you found this value right okay so in the same response in the same sampler okay in the same sampler go to the regular expression tester and build your regular expression okay build your regular expression over here how do you build just take away that dynamic value and put opening braces and closing braces and you put dot star question mark and that's about it done okay dot star question mark and it's done you test it and now it is working you are able to see some value over here okay you see you are able to see some value over here which means that you know your regular expression is correct now you can use this regular expression now you can use your regular expression okay so this is how a regular expression tester is used this is one step i think i have i have missed in the last class we have built the regular expression completely on the notepad plus plus but before applying it to a sampler you have to check it on a particular uh, you can use the regular expression tester which is there in the view results tree to make sure that your regular expression is working or not okay now you see it is there in the response of launch so i'll 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 add the post processor which is the regular expression extractor in the launch and then you put it over here and maybe you can give a name called here source uh, source page okay and then this is the dollar one dollar itself because i have only one group here and matching number is one only and then the default value that you are adding you can have not from you can have not from okay so here the variable name is um, source page so you can add it over here i mean you can add that variable name here okay so dollar opening braces closing braces so, same thing i need to do it for fp quickly i do it usually you search it with the value okay if you have the recording lock but i don't have a recording lock so smartly what i'm doing is i'm using the name and and i'm just i'm just thinking that you know it will show up somewhere okay hoping that it will show up somewhere okay hang on this okay it is there in the launch as well so go to the text go to the response body go to search f okay fp is there wonderful okay let me quickly build it okay i think all the way should be good enough all the way to here should be good enough okay now go to the regular expression tester okay go ahead and then yeah dot star question mark dot star question mark and then test it make sure the value is being pulled out over here and the match count is more than one typically it could be one or more than one so the regular expression that you have built is correct you add a post processor for launch one so add a post processor 
okay we'll do that expression extractor okay here the variable name should be whatever you want i'll put it as fp and again it is dollar one dollar okay dollar one dollar okay and then the matching number is one and the default value is not four okay wonderful so now you have the variable name fp you can go ahead and change it here you can go ahead and change it here okay dollar wonderful so we have done the correlations for these two as well okay so here the whole idea for me to explain that missing thing which is the regular expression uh, i mean tester okay regular expression tester which i have missed it in the last class that was the whole idea okay so <clears throat> is extra white space between okay goro okay i saw that uh, message a little late i believe okay now we have done it okay so <clears throat> Now these two values in this script, I wanted to demonstrate two things. Okay, in a script, can I have? I can have more than one correlations. Here, here I have to do two correlations. And in a in a sampler, there is a possibility that I had to do more than one correlation, uh, which we have, which we have done here, which is the source space and that's it. Okay, that's what I wanted to demonstrate over here. Okay, wonderful. So now now we will move ahead, move ahead and then try to understand what is this matching number okay all this while in a regular expression extractor blindly we are putting the matching number as one but what is this matching number okay so to explain about the matching number okay i need to explore other scripts maybe i'll have to use this purchase product script okay let me use this purchase product script guess to explain about the matching number okay so <clears throat> now you see in this purchase purchase a product script okay what am i what am i doing okay so i'm doing a launch okay so let me take away this loop controller and directly add it over here okay and then click controller okay so let me delete this one what am i doing guys first okay so uh, where is my launch where is my launch okay here is the click which has to go in all the way to the top and there should be login oh here is my launch okay so it has to go all the way to the top okay so let me delete all the others okay so here i'm launching then clicking okay let the think times be there not an issue okay i need one more think time i'm copying and pasting it here so moving the think time over here so launch think time click think time login and then there should be a thick time here okay so let me copy paste it and then okay there is a thick time and here is where you are clicking on a fish okay then then selecting the product id okay and then checking out okay then making a payment you see you are making a payment using these values okay and then finally clicking on continue where the order will order will be confirmed and you are logging out using these two options okay and then i don't think you need this one. okay here is the whole process guys right from the launch to buying a fish okay and then adding to the cart okay and then confirming the order and finally logging out okay here is what is the process if you wanted me to show this process um, in the in the in the application i can do that this is a demo character application okay so first you are launching then you are clicking on the sign in you are actually logging in and once the signing is done okay once the signing is done this is where you are signing in then you are clicking on a fish okay you are clicking on the fish okay this is what is the clicking on the fish is then you are clicking on a particular product id which is this one then you are clicking on particular item id which which is this one okay and then <clears throat> then you are clicking on a checkout part okay which is add to cart okay here is add to cart to be honest and then here is proceed to checkout and here is actual continue okay and then here is where confirm is happening and finally lock out okay finally sign out so this whole process this whole script actually does this what does it do first it will sign in then it will go ahead and log in then then it will click on the fish it will go ahead and click on the item id and then it will go ahead and oh, sorry product id then it will go ahead and click on the item id add to cart proceed to checkout confirm and then confirm and then sign out okay if you have any doubts what i will do is i'll 
replay the script. I'll replay this particular script, which is purchase the product script, and I will show it to show it show it step by step to you in the view results. Okay, so let me let me enable this one. Okay, purchase a product. Okay, and in this purchase a product, I have only one simple controller which is enabled, which is this simple controller. I will name this simple controller as okay, login purchase and then log out. Okay, so that you have a complete clarity. Okay, then I'll I'll disable all the other scripts. I'll disable all the other scripts. Okay, now in this whole load test, in this whole load test. There is only one script which is active. In that one script, only one simple controller is active here, wherein I'll be able to purchase a product. I'll be able to log in, purchase a product, and log out. Okay, whatever the results that I see here, that results will be shown up in this particular listeners. Okay, so let me clean up all the ones, all the things, and let me execute. Okay, now you see. What I will do is I'll I'll select browser over here so that I'll be clearly able to see what is happening. Okay, here I am launching it. Maybe I have the timers here. Okay, let me see what is the think time. Uh, think time is huge, guys. So that's why it is taking a lot of time. Okay, so that's why it is taking a lot of time. Okay, so what I will do is I'll disable the think times for now. Okay, I don't want I want I don't want it to execute the think times. Okay, so let me disable the think times. Okay, so because each think time is taking more than five seconds. Okay, so <clears throat> I wish there was. One click wherein I'll disable all the think times. There is one click with which I can add all the think times, but there is no uh, no button over here wherein it will disable the think times. Okay, so is there a button to disable right rather than that I, instead of deleting? Okay, so in this one there is copy, there is paste, there is cut. But is there anything called disable here, guys? Reset the search. Okay, help. That's it. Okay, after right click and disable each one of them. Right click disable. Okay, I don't want it to waste the time here, guys. That's the reason why I'm disabling it because not one time I have to execute. I have to execute this multiple times, at least four to five times I have to execute so that I can show you what I wanted to show. Okay, so <clears throat> I have disabled all the timers. So uh, sorry, all the yeah, all the timers. Okay, and clean up all this log. Let me go ahead and execute. Okay, first is launch. But let me see the response. Let me see that response. Okay, here first launch is happening. Okay, launch is happening properly. Then you are going ahead and clicking on the sign in. Okay, then you are logging in with J2E. Then you are clicking on the fish button. Okay, that which has multiple types of fish. Then it will go ahead and select one one product ID here. Okay, it has selected. Let's see. It has selected one of this product ID F1 SW01 or 02. Or if W01 or if W02, let's see what it has selected. Okay, so it's not showing which one. Okay, it has selected SW01. In SW01, there is EST1 and EST2. Let me see what I have selected. I have selected EST1. Then, oh, it is okay. Now it's about to check out. You know, it is asking to log in because you haven't correlated the login part. Okay, so this part is a problem because you haven't correlated here. You see, I haven't correlated these two source and FP. It is not. And one more thing here, guys. This is a good example. If the correlation is not done on a particular sample, on a particular sampler, it will not. It might not immediately show the show its effect on the same sampler. Okay. You see here, for you visually, it thinks that the login has happened. You see, you are going ahead and selecting the product ID and all that, but. This is the login part. This is the login part, and it is saying welcome to ABC. But if you go ahead and then click on the fish, you see it is again showing it as sign in. So honestly speaking, it never logged in, even though it gives you the impression that it has logged in, but it never logged in. It would have been logged in, you know, it would have said ABC here. Again, it is showing sign in, okay? And the effect is shown <coughs> when you wanted to check out. <coughs> effect is shown when you wanted to check out. Now quickly, I'll correlate these two things. Had I correlated these two things, had I correlated these two things, the item would have been checked out. The item would have been checked out. Okay, <coughs> this is a good classic example that <coughs> when the correlation is not done on a particular thing, it might not show the results then and there itself. The the effect 
the effect of not doing the correlation might be shown somewhere else on some other sample. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll quickly correlate this. Honestly speaking, I have already correlated it, but maybe in a different thing here. So let me copy these two things. Okay, <clears throat> on a different script, I have already correlated. So I don't want to do the correlations again. I'll copy whatever the correlations have done on a separate script, on a, on, on a different script, and I'll I'll use that. Okay, I've, I've copied these two regular expression extractors into launch one because you see, the, the regular expression extractors has to be added to launch one. So I have done to this script. You see, I have done the source page and uh, FP. I have done it in this script called demo of assertions. I don't want it to do that correlations again. So I'm copying those correlations into the current script. Okay. <clears throat> source page. Okay. Okay. And then FP. Wonderful. Okay. <clears throat> now save it. Okay. So now, now we will go ahead and execute. This time around it should be able to check out. Okay. So I'll keep this log as it is so that it will help us to compare if required. Okay. Now let me go ahead and execute again. But I'll leave this log as it is. But right now, what I will do is, okay, I'll execute once, guys. Looks like I'm executing 10 times. I'll execute only once, okay? I'll execute only once, okay? I'll keep log as it is, guys. I'll keep this log as it is so that I'll be able to explain the current log with the previous log. This is the previous log, okay? Let me go ahead and execute. Now, the new log is being generated here, guys. The new log is being generated here, okay? So, let me see if the problem is solved now. Okay, it has launched. Okay, it has clicked on sign in. It has logged in. Okay, but it's still showing. Okay, it is still showing as a problem. Again, it is asking you to log in. Hmm. Maybe the business process itself is like that, I believe. Okay, now this time around it is asking an order, but again it is failing. Log out. Okay. Uh, let me see if I have missed any other correlations over here. Hang on, guys. Yeah, there are two correlations over here. So, same source page and FP. It is asking over here, you see, there is again source page and FP in the continue button, and this could be the problem. Okay, so source page and FP have already correlated. I will use the values. Again, I need not have to correlate. Source page I have already correlated. So I will use the same values. Again, this is one more classic example that one correlation is done. You can use that value multiple times. I have done the correlation for source page. The first time I have used it in the login, that source page value. And the second time I am using it in this continue. Okay, so you see there is a continue button. I am using it here as well. Okay, so one correlation you can use it at multiple places. I'm using it at two places, so switch. Okay, and FP also I correlated it once, but I am using it twice. Once I have used it in the login part. Okay, and the other one I have using I'm using it in the sampler called continue 25. Okay, so FP. Or maybe this could be other, even though the name is same, this could be other correlations. Okay, because the value appears to be little different for me. Okay, but let me uh, let me see. Okay, okay, so fine. <coughs> this values appears FP. You know, this is here the FP value is bigger. Earlier the FP value was smaller. Okay, so maybe is this the same source? Maybe the name is same, but it's a different value. Or I don't know. Let me go ahead and run it to see what is happening. Let me clear all the results. This is a different script altogether. Okay, so uh, let me clear everything here. All the listeners here. Okay, let me go ahead and execute. But still having an issue. Okay, still having an issue. Even though I have correlated, still having an issue. Maybe this FP and this uh, whatever this FP and this source page is a different FP, different source page. Okay, <clears throat> that could be the issue. Okay, so. Click 26 is a problem, but there is no correlations involved here. So this FP, this source page 
could be completely different from the earlier FP, earlier source page. The correlations could be different. Okay, to double check that quickly, just give me some time, guys. I'll quickly solve this issue for you. Okay, just give me one moment. Ideally, if you have a recording log, all this would have become really easy, but not an issue. It will take a little bit of time and we'll be able to solve the problem. Maybe after this fish is done, there is an FP value. Let me look. Or maybe uh, this value is having a problem. Let me do. Let me look in the response body. Okay. And then the text value. This source page could have been a different source page. Assuming that it's a different source page, let me quickly okay correlate that. And let me check these values. Hang on, guys. Let me check these values. One second. Give me. Let me check the source page which is there in different samplers. Okay. The source page here as well. So let me see if these values are similar or different. Okay. So there are two source pages could be. That's what I'm giving a hunch. Yes. This value is different. You see the first source page is different from the second source page. Okay. So this could be the issue as to why we are facing that issue. Not an issue. Okay. We will we will solve this. This is A for H. This is IJ. Okay. So every sampler, a different source page is getting generated. Okay. So 25 is what we have to correlate, I believe. Yeah, 25 is what we have to correlate. Just give me one moment, guys. So we'll we'll try to correlate in 24 and pass it to 25. Okay. So let's see what will happen. If not, I'll come back to you with a solution for this. Okay. So just hold on. Okay, so people are leaving. Just hold back, guys. So this is when you learn more. Okay, so regular expression extractor. Okay. So space two dollar one dollar matching number is one. Okay, and and in this 24 itself, we will try to search for FP as well. Okay, 24 itself, we will search for FP as well. Let me see if there is any FP here. Uh, test it, search it in the response body. 24 itself. Okay. FP search it. There is a smaller value which is stored here. But when I've looked at 25, okay, the FP value was huge. Okay. So I don't know if this is value is being taken up from here. For for me to solve, I need the recording log, guys. Actually, to be honest, I need the recording log because the FP value over here is small. So let me search the FP value product ID. Okay, here also it is minor. Okay, that's not what it is. Okay. This is also small here. Okay, but let me go ahead with uh, this one itself. Let, let me hope that it will work. Okay, if not, I'll have to get back to you again tomorrow with the completed code because I need to record from the scratch, which I don't want it to do. it. Okay, so <clears throat> dot star question mark okay so this is working and regular expression tester is working go to 24 okay so add that one more post processor uh, which is a regular expression extractor okay so this is fp2 i'll call it as fp2 okay so dollar one dollar dollar one dollar okay match number is one not found so FP2 is what we will capture and then post it here. Okay. So here we will give FP2. Okay. And then source page 2. Okay. So space 2. Wonderful. Save it and then clear all the log and let me go ahead and run it. 
okay to see if it works this time around no this time around also it's failing okay so not an issue guys tomorrow i'll fix this problem and then get back to you okay let me clear all run it yeah it is failing it is still failing okay so not an issue guys tomorrow i'll get back to you on this one as to why it is failing we can fix it there is nothing that we cannot fix it but maybe i need more time and more importantly i need the recording log okay i'll go ahead and fix that and exactly tell you why some why the script is failing and what is the root cause for that okay but definitely we will be able to solve the issue that's not an issue but the thing is i needed the recording log and i don't want it to record it right now okay so having said that now uh, where we have started actually what is that we wanted to do is we wanted to cover only one thing which was missing which is the matching number okay how do i use this matching number or what is this matching number and how it will help me okay this matching number so what i will do is i'll take a break now because once i start the matching number i don't want it to take a break i'll take a break of 10 minutes and once i come back expect the class to go for 40 to 45 minutes or more because this matching number takes a little bit of time okay so this is very very important guys so you can talk about whatever i am about to talk now okay you can talk about that in your interviews when they say what are the scripting challenges you have faced okay they might ask you what are the scripting challenges you have faced okay so you can talk about it okay so uh, stay back i'll cover the matching number and the script is not working fine i know i'll fix that and then in the next class i'll talk about it and i'll tell you what is the fix as well i need 15 to 20 minutes to fix it i don't want to use your time because already two people have left it as i'm fixing it so i don't want it to uh, leave i don't want more people to leave okay so just take a 10 minutes break guys after the break we'll discuss about this match okay thank you
So guys, are you able to hear me? Can one of you please confirm? Okay, thank you. Now, <clears throat> before the break, what we thought is, how, what is this matching number means? Can you please explain? Okay, what is this matching number? Okay, so now to explain that, let me come out with a, uh, what do you say, um, a case study, okay, or a situation, okay. You can project this as a scripting challenges, guys, scripting challenges, okay, uh, in your interviews, okay. So, now, here is the thing, okay, here is the thing. So, now the application is there, you have signed in, okay, you have signed in, and now, you have to select one of them okay either a fish or a dog or a cat or a reptile or a birds while recording you have recorded it with the fish okay hear me carefully guys while recording okay while recording you have recorded with a fish okay recorded the script with fish okay now when you play back okay when you play back any number of times when you play back it will play back with the fish itself any number of times you play back, it will play back with the fish itself. But what you want is, what you want is, okay, what is that you want? What is the result or the outcome that you want? It should pick, okay, the script should not only play back with fish all the time, all the time, okay, not only play back with fish all the time, okay, but also other pets. Okay, so randomly it should select one of this pack and it should it should check out. Okay, not all the time it should pay back with the same thing. Hang on, guys, one second, please. Hello. In the class. And then standard group in another class room together. Hmm. Sorry about that, guys. So. While, while recording, for example, when you have recorded the script, you have recorded it a fish, any number of times you play back, it will go out and then purchase the fish itself. The script will go ahead and click on the fish. Sorry, the script will go ahead and click on the fish. If you play back the script 100 times, it will play back with the fish itself. But what you want is randomly it should select one of this particular pet while you play back. Okay, so how do you modify the script? You need not have to create each script for one for fish, one for dog, one for cat, one for reptile, one for bird and randomly you can use the random controller. That is one option. Okay, now what you can do is to to, to solve the issue or to, to, to make sure your, your problem statement or your uh, scenario is being taken care of. What you do? What you do? You create script one for purchasing the fish. Okay, script two. Okay, script two for purchasing for purchasing the dogs. Okay, script three. Okay, for purchasing whatever the next one is, cats and then reptiles and then you know script three for reptiles. Okay, and script four for uh, probably birds. Okay, so you have to create script one, script two, script three, script four, script five. Okay. So you have to create all these scripts, okay? So you have to create all these scripts, <clears throat> and then and then you can use the controller called you can use the controller called random or random controller, okay? You can add a controller called random controller for all this, okay? You can add a random controller, okay? You can add a random controller on the top of it so that it can randomly pick one of these five five scripts. This is one option, okay? This is one option. So you can have, okay? You can create these five scripts and then put a random controller so that it will pick one of the scripts. So randomly, it will be either ordering a fish or a dog or a cat or a reptile or a bird. So this is one option. But is there an easier option? Is there an easier option? Yes, there is an easier option, okay? What we do is, okay, we correlate this fish Okay, you have recorded the script with fish, right? So you record only once. Record, okay, only once. Don't record five scripts. Okay, don't create five scripts. Record only once, which means that only one script is created. Only script one is created. Let's say you have recorded with the fish. Let's assume, okay. So record only once, that two with the fish. And now 
you correlate the fish part you correlate the fish part okay you correlate wherever the fish is there you correlate it not that it is a dynamic value that's why we are correlating but we are correlating it in such a in so that so that and once we correlate we use the value zero so that it will randomly select okay you correlate the fish you correlate the fish and you say match number okay match number is zero match number is zero if the match number is zero it will randomly pick it okay so right now vaguely you understood this one you vaguely you understood this one instead of recording five times you record only once and use the power of correlation so that it will randomly pick one of it so it will either pick fish or dogs or cats or reptiles or birds okay so you are using the power of correlation not that we need to correlate over here but we are using the power of correlation and randomly picking one of the pet randomly picking one of the pet okay how you can randomly pick one of the pet so that you put zero so you correlate fish so once you correlate fish okay so it could be either fish or dog or cats or reptiles or birds that's what you match the correlation to dot dot question mark will match any one of these reptiles and you match zero which means that randomly it, pick, it will pick one of them okay so <clears throat> probably at this point of time you understood 50 30 to 50 percent of what i've told you okay so as i create the script and explain more you get the 100 percent clarity as to what i'm saying okay what i'm saying is instead of recording all the five scripts you record only once use the power of correlation so that randomly it will pick one of the pet okay record only once okay and then correlate such that it will randomly pick one of the pet not all the times fish okay so that part which why we need to correlate and all that you will understand shortly okay now i have already i have already recorded the script here okay so let me delete all the think times which is confusing for you okay so that the script looks simple that's why i am deleting all this guys not that it needs to be deleted okay <clears throat> wonderful okay i've already created the scripts i have launched i've clicked on log i've logged in i'm ordering a fish now any number of times i run it it will always order a fish so what i will do i'll correlate this value called fish capital f-i-s-h i'll correlate this value called fish not that it is the dynamic value that's why i'm correlating but i wanted it to be random not always it needs to select fish but it should it should it should it should order different pets that's the reason why i am i'm correlating it okay so let me go ahead and correlate fish so first select the value for fish and then go ahead and look at in the view results tree and search with fish ideally you don't look it up in the in the in the uh, in the replay log this represents replay log which is there in the thread group you see this is a thread group and this view results tree is there in the thread group so this represents the replay log ideally you don't want to use the replay log uh, you wanted to use the recording log which will be there in the http script recorder but since it is not there i'm going ahead and using this uh, replay log okay go ahead and search it so fish is there right from the launch so you can use any one of them so i'll go ahead and click on the launch and go ahead and look in the response data and go ahead and look at the text response not the browser response go ahead and click on fish okay so you see, you see fish is there fish is there but you wanted to correlate in such a way that fish whatever the correlation that you have done it should be applicable to fish and uh, it should be such that uh, the other things like reptile should be selected as well okay first let me select where the fish is there okay so you see till here i'll select okay till here i'll select okay right from here all the way till here i'll take the expression okay now i'll go ahead and use the regular expression tested okay and put it over here and wherever fish is there fish is what i wanted to correlate i'll put a dot star question mark dot star question mark and then i test it and then i test it okay <clears throat> now you see how many times it has matched it has matched 10 times and and i didn't took too much of left boundary and right boundary here i took enough so that whatever the regular expression i am doing okay it is matching fish all right but it is also matching dogs it is matching reptiles it is matching cats 
is matching birds and again it is repeating fish dogs cats reptiles that is not my interest unfortunately it is repeating and repetition is not a problem for me that is fine but what i want is the regular expression that you are matching the regular expression that you are matching it should not only match fish but it should also match the other 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 pets okay and how what am i doing i am i am using my common sense or i am knack i am knackingly i mean i am selecting this i am selecting this regular expression i'm not going too for the you see for this fish okay only this much i have selected only this much i have selected okay hang on okay you see for the fish the expression i am selecting is you know i am selecting only this much if i go further up okay maybe if i go further up okay and here also if i go further up let's say okay instead of only this much right now i have selected only this much but instead of this much let's say i have selected all of it i have selected all of it let's see what happens okay let's see what happens okay now i'll go to the regular expression extractor okay and i'll put dot star question mark here okay you see dot star question mark okay now if i go ahead and test it only one value is being pulled out because this is the expression okay where in dogs cat reptiles everything will come over here and if i go any further up if i go any further up again there is something called fish is coming okay which means that which means that only the fish will be selected okay what i am doing over here is knackingly i am deleting it okay very smartly i am deleting it so that now it will match all the other 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 pets as well so how much you take the left boundary right boundary for what you want is also matters over here smartly i have selected such that whatever the regular expression i am selecting okay it not only matches fish but it also matches the other pets as well and that's the whole idea i want the regular expression not only to select fish but other 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 pets as well why because if i put match value random which is zero it should randomly select one of this pet so when it will select randomly select one of this pet only the the regular expression that you are selecting if it matches all the pets all the pets then you can randomly select one of them by putting zero okay by putting zero are we clear so far guys are we clear so far or is it too complicated to explain it's good it's good okay <clears throat> so sese i'll exp i'll explain this one to you is only sese or do we want other people also how many people want the repetition of this concept there are 11 students in the class so far how many of you want the repetition of whatever i am about to do so guys please respond otherwise i don't know whether i am speaking to people or whether i am speaking to myself okay so okay there are four people who want the repetitions i want the responses from okay chaboro says i'll listen to the video later wonderful okay what about others how many people need the repetition i want the responses from all of you guys i just, i just wanted to know where where i am going am i doing it right or i am doing it wrong or are you able to understand i want you to understand that okay so there are there are only one person has understood none remaining everybody hasn't understood one of you please unmute yourself and let me know from where you want the repetition from where you want the repetition what is that you understood and what is that you want me to repeat i just want to understand did you understood the problem statement first did you understood the problem statement first okay one of you please let me know from where you want the understanding from where you want me to explain because i don't want it to go from the scratch i wanted to only start from from where you wanted to uh, wanted to hear okay here is the problem statement guys okay now what i wanted to do i have recorded the script with fish any number of times i play back it will order fish itself but what i want i wanted the script to work in such a way that it will not only order fish but it should randomly select one of the pet are we clear guys i have recorded it with fish if i play back 100 times it will play back with fish itself that's not what i wanted to do 
I want to modify the script in such a way that it will not only order fish, but sometimes it will order fish, sometimes it will order dogs, sometimes it will order cats, sometimes it will order reptiles, sometimes it will order goats. Randomly, it should select one of them. In, in that way, I wanted to modify the script. For this, what I am doing, I am correlating this fish. Not that this is a dynamic value, I am correlating it. I am using the power of correlation so that, so that randomly it select one of them. Have you understood so far, guys? This is the problem statement. Have you understood so far? All of you? Okay. Not that it is a dynamic value, I am correlating it. Why I am correlating it? So that the script will play back with one of these pets. Okay. Randomly it should select one of these pets and play back. Now that I have recorded with the fish, I am correlating the fish. So that randomly, randomly it should select one of them. How am I correlating it? Watch carefully. Here is where I have the fish. Okay. Here is where I have the fish. Now I have to correlate this one. Not that this is a dynamic value, again you are correlating, just because every time it should order something else. Okay, now correlation rules are, correlation rules are same, copy, go to the view results tree, search for this fish, okay, search for this fish, it is there in all the samplers, you see, it is highlighted, which means that fish is there in all the samplers. Let me go for the launch one, okay, let me go for the launch one, go to the response and search for fish, search for fish, okay, now I am correlating it. Okay, you know how to correlate it. Copy all this expression. Copy all this expression. Make sure that you don't select too much of the expression. Select only certain part of the expression. Fish is the main thing. Select something to the left to it and select some text to the right to it. Now, now in the launch response, I have the fish. I'll go to the regular expression tester and then paste it and then Fish is what I wanted to correlate. Replace it with a regular expression, which is dot star question mark. And now test it. You see, fortunately, this regular expression, whatever you build, it is not only pulling out fish, but it is pulling out the other pets. Have you understood? Have you understood so far, guys? All of you? Have you understood so far? All of you? Okay. So. Okay, others you can review the now now copy this regular expression you are able to find this in the response of launch okay so put put a regular expression extractor in the response of log okay and then paste this one okay do believe that I mean know that this expression not only pulls out fish but it pulls out dogs and others as well okay variables I'll call this as pecs okay and matching template it is again dollar one dollar okay matching number I'll put it as one default value not four. okay now you see I'll add a debug sampler to see what is the value which is there in the pets okay I'll add a debug sampler and view results tree and uh, I mean uh, listener I'll add the listener okay which is the view results tree and uh, this unwanted uh, these unwanted things I'll delete for now so that it becomes clear for you okay so this one all I delete it okay so this is no this is now clear for you okay I have only one script now this should be absolutely clear for you okay this pets will pull out the pets what I'm doing I'm I'm giving the matching number as one but you do you know that this expression not only pulls out the fish but it pulls out other values as well now let's see what is the value which is there in the pet okay what is the value which is there in the pet okay what is the value which is there in the pet guys this fish can you see that we have given a variable called pets okay we have given a variable called pets so the value is fish okay now now if I give the matching number as 2, if I give the matching number of 2, before I give the matching number, okay, again I will go to the response of launch, okay, I will go to the response of launch, okay, now let's search with that regular expression, okay, I will search with the regular expression tester itself in the launch, okay, if I give the matching number as 1, it has pulled out fish, if I give the matching number of 2, what will it pull out this, what will it pull out, looking at this, can you tell me? If I give the matching number as 2, will it pull out fish or what will it pull out? I want to hear from all of you. Okay. Since I give the matching number as 1, it has pulled out fish. 
the expression is such that it is not only pulling out fish but it is also pulling out other other pets as well so i have given the matching number as one it has pulled out fish if i give the matching number of two it will pull out the reptiles is that true let me see that i have given the matching number as two and let me go ahead and run it okay let me wait for the second debug sampler okay i have given the matching number of two it has pulled out dogs as you can see here are we clear guys all of you are we clear okay if i give the matching number as three what what is what is it what is that expectation that you pull out okay <clears throat> okay if i give it as three it will pull out reptiles is that so okay let me try that if i give three okay let me go ahead and run it let me go to the debug sampler wait for the third sampler okay and you see pets it got pulled out okay so if i if i if i if i uh, sorry okay if i give the matching number as 4 it is supposed to pull out cats let me see okay matching number as 4 okay let me run it go to the debug sampler and see what value it is being pulled out okay it is pulling out cats as expected okay cats are we clear guys all of you are we clear now are we clear now okay yeah all of you say say okay this is maria too Shabora, okay, wonderful, okay. Now, now, if I put zero, if I put zero, okay, if you know, it will, you know what happens if you put one, it will pull out the uh, fish. If you put two, if you put two, it is pulling out dog. If you put three, okay, it is pulling out cats. If you put four, okay, it is pulling out what? Reptiles. If you put five, okay, you know it is pulling out birds, okay. Again, if you put six, it will go back to fish because that's how the regular expression is. If you put zero, what will happen is randomly it will select one of the pet. Randomly it will select one of the pet. Okay. If you put zero, randomly it will select one of the pet. Is that so? Is that so? Okay. We will go ahead and test it. But what we will do is, okay, we will run this for five times. We will run this for five times. Let me see. Let me see first iteration, what it will pull out. Second iteration, it will, what it will pull out. Third iteration, it will pull out. What it will pull out. Randomly, it should pull out one of the values from those pets. Let me see. I am running it for five times. Let me see what it will pull out for the five times. Okay. First time, first time, let's see what it has pulled out. Fish. Okay, fine. Not an issue. Second time, cats. Okay. First time it has pulled out fish. Second time it has pulled out cats. Okay. Third time it has pulled out reptiles. Okay. Fourth time again cats. It can continue. I mean it can repeat because random when you are putting when you are pulling out randomly repetitions are quite obvious. Fourth fifth time also it has pulled out cats. So randomly. Let's say you are running it for 10 times. Let's see what happens or maybe 20 times. Okay. Let's run it for 20 times. Let's see what happens. Clear all. Okay, let me run it. Okay, first time reptiles it has pulled out. Second time birds. Third time birds again. Repetitions is quite common, guys. Dogs it might repeat. Reptiles again. Okay. So fish. Okay, it has pulled out fish. So randomly it is pulling out the values. Okay, so this regular expression extractor, we are using the power of correlation so that randomly it will click one of this. Randomly it will click one of this. How it is clicking? By, okay, you pass that value now. Whatever the correlation that you have done, okay, pets, you pass that over here now. Okay, you pass that over here. Okay, dollar. Now it will go ahead and not click on fish, but whatever the value which is there in the variable pets, that it will go ahead and click on it. Okay, it will go ahead and click on it. That correlation of only the fish will not work, guys. We need to correlate the product ID and the category ID. It's item ID. Okay, you have to correlate the you have to correlate the product ID and the item ID as well, so that so that your script is completed. Because because okay, I'll I'll go ahead and talk about this product ID and the item ID a little later. But have you understood, guys? Randomly you are selecting one value, randomly you are selecting one value from the pets and storing it in this variable called pets and you are passing that value into this sampler called pets. So if the pet is fish, it will go ahead and select fish. 
Okay, it will go ahead and click on fish. If the pet, if the variable pet is storing reptiles, instead of fish, it will go ahead and click on reptiles. So, and whatever the value which is there over here, it will go ahead and click on that because in that sampler, that's what you are passing. Are we go, are we clear here, guys? Are we clear? Why we are randomizing Raghu? Because that's what we wanted it. That's the whole idea, right? You want to randomly select one of it. Instead of creating five different scripts and then putting a random controller in one script itself with one step, you're randomly clicking on one of this plant. Okay? So what is the other option? Click create five different scripts and put a random controller to it. Instead of doing this, you create only one script and correlate this value fish and you're putting random value match number is zero so that it can randomly select one of them and then passing it over here so that whatever is there in the pets it will go ahead and click on it and here the request name you can change it to pets or whatever it is okay request name is just a name you can change it to pets or something so that when you look at it you know that it's not just fish that it is clicking it is one of the pets that you select which is clicking or you can pass this variable okay so that whatever whatever it will click okay whatever whatever it is it will name that okay in case the pets is reptiles it's say reptile 21 and say the, the 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 value of the pet is fish it will say fish 21 and all that and select the appropriate value over here okay so it's a kind of parameterization but this is more like if you relate it to load runner if you relate it to load runner you remember we have done something called um uh, lr param array underscore random okay we use ordinal all we use ordinal all okay we use ordinal all to pull out all these values and select one of the values using randomly using this lr param array underscore random you remember this case in this web read save param in this web read save param okay underscore ex okay underscore ex you use another argument called ordinal and you gave a value all so that it, it will pull out all the pets and then you select one of these pets randomly using lr paramaria underscore random if you wanted to select one of them at a particular thing you use lr param array underscore idx so that it will put it will pull the value which is there in that particular index either one or two or three or four for this idx what we are doing we are simply putting Okay, we are simply putting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Whatever the value that you wanted to put, you are putting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which will act more like LR param underscore IDX. And for random, simply you are putting 0, which will act like more like LR param array underscore random. And ordinal all, since you put the regular expression, it is more, it is acting more like ordinal all. Okay, that's about it, guys. So if you have understood the script where we have discussed about LR param array underscore random or ordinal all or IDX, this is exactly like that. But it, in, instead of writing any program, this particular regular expression extractor element is taking care of it without you writing a simple line, single line of program. Okay, without you writing a single line of program, you are doing everything which a load runner is doing. You see, for load runner, you might have to rely, write. 10 to 15 lines of code here you may not have to write even a single line of code everything is happening in this uh, uh, regular expression in this element itself with just putting zero and then uh, and then adding, uh, passing that variable over here so that's why i say geometer is much more simpler okay if you actually uh, see it okay are we clear this are we clear everybody what we are doing here yeah so let me run it okay let me run it once okay now the name also i have changed it okay so you see wherever there is a pet 21 it says reptiles 21 so which means that randomly it has selected reptiles here then again it has selected reptiles then cats it has selected you see cats 21 okay so 21 wherever 21 is there before 21 you are replacing it with the jmeter uh, variable then it has selected dogs okay then it has selected uh, reptiles again okay dogs again okay cats so randomly it is selecting one of these values okay but one note here guys okay this product id that we are looking at this is applicable only to the fish f1 sw01 okay if you go back here f1 sw f1 sw s1 is applicable only to the fish if you go to the dogs if you go to the dogs 
the product ID is completely different. Okay, if you go to the CAD, the product ID is completely different. So we are not we are not done yet by just correlating this one. We have to correlate these values as well, which is F1, SW, S1, and also this EST1. How we can do it? Simply search for this, okay? F1, SW, S1, okay? For now, okay? Hang on, guys, one second, okay? Uh, yeah. Simply correlate this F1, SW, S1, okay? I'll do the, go ahead and do the correlation. Let me figure out where the fish is, okay? Okay, okay. Go ahead and search in the replay log, go ahead and search and see where that, okay, FWS1 is there, okay, so it's there over here, okay, so you see here, first we have to correlate this one, how do we start the correlation, copy that, and go to the view results tree, search, sorry, view results tree, search for that, okay, search for that, and say search, okay, you see it is there in product ID 22, okay, so product ID 22, it should be there in the response, product ID 22, that's not what we want. We wanted to see, it should be in the response. So it should be in the product ID 22 before that, okay? Let me see in one of the response if it's there before that, okay? Hang on, guys, one second. Yeah, it is there, you see? Where the element fish is there, that's where it is there. In product ID 22 itself, we need to correlate. So it, it, we cannot search in product ID 22. In the response, it should be there in the response of an element before that. So it is there in the response of this. Hang on, so let me go ahead and then look for that in the response data, okay, of this element, which is fish, okay, finding, and you are able to see that. Now, go ahead and select some value, okay, from new product all the way till here, I'll select, okay. Okay, now go to the regular expression extractor so that you build the regular expression. FSW01, FSW01, two times if it is repeating. So what I'll do is I'll put the regular expression for both the times, dot star question mark, and then here also dot star question mark, dot star question mark. And there are two groups here, you see. Okay, and four times it has selected, it is fine. Okay, but there are two groups here. Okay, there are two groups, you can select any one of the groups. Okay, so it is there in the response of fish 21, which is equivalent to this one. So let me add the regular expression here, post processor, regular expression extractor. Okay, and then you can select any one of the groups, both the groups represents the same thing. So I'll select the second group here so that you know what is, I mean, it's same, group one or group two, it is same, okay? Here, whatever the value, the variable name, I'll select it as product ID, the variable name, and the matching number is one, okay? Or the matching number should be random, you can put zero, okay? Not four, okay? So, now the product ID, you have got it, and then you can pass that product ID over here. Pass that product ID, Okay, so you are not only correlating fish, but you are correlating the product ID as well because it is changing. Okay, had you selected dog, I wanted you to randomly select one of this product ID. Okay, so that's the reason why I'm correlating the product ID. And I wanted to randomly select one of this product ID. And that's the reason why, that's the reason why I've put the match number zero here. Match number zero here. Okay, now let me see what is the product ID that will be selected. and the variable name is product ID, so I'll pass this over here, the variable name here as well, so that in the name as well, I can see what it is. Not necessarily it needs to uh, uh, replace it over here, it's just a name, but the name should represent whatever the product ID we are selecting, so that's the reason why I'm passing it over here. Okay, so let me clear all this log to see if the product ID has been properly correlated. Okay, so now fish is selected, Corresponding product ID, it should select. Okay, you see, F1 SW01 has been selected. For fish, F1 SW01 has been selected. Okay, for dog, let's see for dog, the corresponding product ID is selected. You see, K9 RT02. 
since I have named the samplers also with the product with the variable name, it's automatically showing it on the samplers. Not necessarily the samplers need to be correlated, but here is where the actual correlation needs to be done. But also I have passed it. I have passed it in the names as well, so that it it is easy for me to see what is the product ID which is selected on, on the names itself. Okay, so you see for dogs K9 RT02 is selected. Okay, again for fish F1 SW01 is selected. Okay, for birds AV SB02 is selected. Okay, similarly we have to do the correlation for working ID as well, working item ID as well, just like what I have done now. So you can do the same thing again. I will do it for EST1 as well. Okay, quickly I'll go ahead and do the do for EST1 as well. Search. Okay. So, okay, the first sampler wherein I found it, I'll go ahead and use that. Okay, text. Okay, find. Okay, item ID. Okay, copy. Regular expression tested. Okay, and then wherever that EST1 is there, which you wanted to correlate, simply replace it by dot star question mark. Simply replace it by dot star question mark. So you are you are getting the value. Copy that, and it should be there in F. It should be there over here. Okay, which is the product ID. Okay, so you add the regular expression extractor accordingly. Okay, add uh, post processor regular expression extractor. Okay. Okay. Oh, this should be dot star. Okay, wherever that whatever the value that you need to correlate, you just simply replace it by dot star question mark. Okay, so replace it by dot star question mark. Okay, so group number either you can take the first group or second group. So you said dollar two dollar. Okay, matching number is random. Okay, not found, and this is item ID that you are replacing. Item ID. Okay, so you have to correlate that. Now, now you do that correlation over here, which is the item ID. Dollar. If you haven't understood this, guys, in the similar lines as to how I've correlated pets, I've done the correlation for the product ID as well. I'm doing, I'm doing the correlation for item ID as well. Okay, it is simple. It's as simple as that. You can review the video. Okay, uh, just like we have done for the pets, we are doing it for the product ID and the item. It's as simple as that, yes. Okay, so go ahead and then do it. Okay, so you see for dogs, uh, K9 BT01 is selected, and in that EST6 is the item ID. This is the product ID, this is the item ID. Okay, so that's what it is. So then what I'm doing is if I'm selecting fish, corresponding product IDs should be selected. If I'm if I'm selecting cats, corresponding product IDs needs to be selected. If I'm selecting birds, correct, uh, corresponding product IDs needs to be selected. And if I'm selecting this product, the corresponding item IDs need to be selected. That's what I'm doing. How did I do it? Just like I've correlated the pet, I'm correlating the product ID as well. I'm correlating the item ID as well. Just like just like that. You see, correlated the pets. Okay. And randomly selecting one of the values and then the product IDs and then the item IDs. So name needs need not have to be replaced, but just that it becomes easy for me to review the names. I'm adding the names. That's it. Okay. So that's about it, guys. So that's it for today. Okay. 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 Any questions, guys? Any questions? I know it might be a little challenging for you. And I, I know it might be a little challenging for you. Okay, I want you to review, review the videos again and again. I know it is little challenging. This is little complex. Okay, review the review the video if you do if you didn't understood. Please come back to me. I'll try to explain this to you. Okay, I can send you the script. Not an issue. Today I'll send you the script along with the video. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so tomorrow we will start. There will not be any class tomorrow, guys. The next class we will start. We will start something completely new concept. Okay, uh, along with the video, I'll send you the script as well. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Uh, Kumar, I have one question. Who is it? Uh, uh, Raghu, yeah. Raghu, Raghu, yeah, go ahead. Raghu. Uh, like in a regular expression extractor, you mentioned default value as a. Uh, uh, this one, uh, not font text, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, their spelling mistake happened. It's okay, Fatu. It's okay. It's just as I've told you, na, not phone is only for your reference. In case if you are not, if it is not able to pull out, these pets will be assigned with this value. Okay. Very okay. okay. like pets will be assigned with this value. Instead of not phone, you can say that correlation is incorrect. Okay. Correlation seems to be incorrect. Or the correlation value is missing. You can put anything. So in case if it is not able to pull out the actual value, this is what will be assigned to. Okay? okay. People usually say not. Okay. So anything you can add, but that, that is only for your reference. And above okay. that field, and above that field, match number is there, no? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the in that field only we can uh, give only um, uh, uh, only one digit or uh, we can give like a zero minus nine that kind of uh, things. Minus, I don't think you can give. I don't think it will allow you to give as well. It is giving, but uh, I don't know what will happen in the minus. Zero means randomly it will select from available options. One means it will select the first value. Two means it will select the second value. Okay. Like that. Like one to nine, that kind of things uh, you can give. Yeah, you can give one to nine or one to ten. But how much, how many, uh, how many values are there? From those values, it will pick up. Okay. For example, this pets is there, right? This regular expression extractor. Okay. So this regular expression in the response of launch one, right? So let me go to the launch one. Okay. So here in the response data in the regular expression tester. If you go ahead and search it, so maximum you can for you see for this maximum you can give 10 because this regular expression is pulling out 10 values. Okay, so if you say match value is one, it will pick up one, two, it will pick up two, three, it will pick up three, ten, it will pick up ten. If you put eleven, there is no value, so it will not put, it will not pull out anything. So since it will not pull out anything, it will assign the value not found. Okay. Okay, so you see maximum it can have is 10. Okay? Okay. okay, if you put 11, right? Maybe then it will go ahead and say it's not able to find it. So let's try to give 11 and see what happens. Okay, so here are out of bond exception are not found. Okay, you got it? Okay, yeah. so because you're, you're asking for more values than it can actually pull down. Okay, so okay. it will go to not for long. Okay. Okay, are we clear? Yeah, I'm clear. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Diva, I, as I've told you, I'll send you the recorded uh, script as well with the recorded videos. In case you don't receive it, send out a reminder, I'll make sure. Okay, I'll inform my two team to send this script to you as well. Okay? Okay, like you that. Said, this this uh, yeah. class is still difficult. Please review the video again and again so that you get a hang of it. Yeah, sorry to cut you off. This guy. Yeah, this kind of um, testing it will be very useful for uh, web store uh, testings, right? Like uh, different kind of categories and products are coming in online stores. Exactly. Very very useful in this kind of situations. Wonderful. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Any other questions, guys? Any other questions? Okay, thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. There is no class over the weekend. Okay, so I'll let you know when is the next class. Okay, there is, there is. There is a festival, a popular Indian festival, guys. So I need to figure out when will be the next class. Okay. Okay. Not on Monday. I don't think so. Maybe I'll have to check. You know, maybe there might might be a class, might not be a class. I'll let you know, guys. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay.